I mean, so it looks like Dream Team going back with a similar comp. He's basically saying, don't break it further, right? If it isn't fixed, don't break it. Okay. Boom. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and it I've, is the I've got ribs light. back. Yeah. Makes sense of all of these. If it ain't fixed, don't break don't it. Broke it. <laughs> you know, I've been playing with a, a Zillion main, uh, and he's pretty sick. I, I love what he's able to do on this champion. I saw him miss a double bomb, so he hit him with one, and then the other one was sitting there on the ground, and he sped himself up and ran through the bomb and delivered it by hand. <laughs> oh <my laughs> it God. made me crack up, because I was just like, oh yeah, it doesn't just sit there on the ground, you can pick it up. Yeah. So he was like, no, no, you ain't getting away. <laughs> Uh-oh, Cocoon fine. Turn fire. The stun is going to be comboed. He's taking a lot, a lot of damage here. He goes low. There's Flash. He flashes a wall of his own. Shurnfire escapes with his life. Meanwhile, Peek and Wolf pulls the trigger on the contracts. He jumps away. Peek and Wolf is going to get the barrel in just a second. Looking oh. for it, and he gets it. First blood hook. Golden Glue Flash dodges it. Trebong teleports down as well. Yep. Trebong using his Flash as well to try and get that hook out. Big damage going to be coming out of Golden Glue for the next few. Hook. He's going to find Blood by threading the needle stunt tank. Oh, here comes amount. the level 6 Malphite. Oh, is level 6. He's going to look for Biofrost. Now he looks for Massacre. He's going to ride the Valkyrie away. They should be able to get this kill. There's one. They're diving now for Massacre. One, two, three flashes and a double kill. Speaking of flashes, they're all used across the map now. Not a single person has flash up. <laughs> yeah, Golden Glue needs to find a better back, so they may pull the jungler towards him. We'll see what happens. Holding him towards bottom. Actually, Shurnfire's in the area, but TMA, one hit away. Knockup is going to miss. These guys don't have flash. Valkyrie was just used. There's the culling, but here's Shurnfire joining in. A lot of cannon damage is dropped onto Ember. Contracts far too far forward. He's going to take the repel to a minion. Shurnfire continues to chase. The hook is still going to find Contracts. Ignite burns him down, and Shurnfire gets the kill. Yeah, getting this gold onto the Udyr is actually very important because when Udyr gets a decent amount of gold from ganks, he scales incredibly well. Sweeper makes sure that this buff is clear. There's oh. another hook. Contracts is in before Shurnfire can get there. Biofrost goes down. Massacre. The Shurnfire was there. He's got he, his heal. He just ran into the enemy jungle, and he passed by a ward, and that immediately told Ember, OK, it's time to engage. Dream Team wow. quick smite. Oh, this hook finds Lod. He's pulled into the box. Stunned like all so quite a bit. Not been used quite yet. There it goes. Finally being dropped along with not one, not two, but three teleports. Jerome is caught in between Ember. He's taking a lot of damage here. Lot is healed to kept himself alive. He's finally dropping to Golden Glue. Chrono Shift keeps him standing. Ember and Solo running for their lives. That hook catches a minion. And Ember look to get out of here. Pika Wolf is going to toss out some barrels. Is he going to find it? Contracts will die so that his team can live. Lot, oh, he's barely alive. And Pika Wolf is not here to the turn. He goes down to Solo. Massacre takes the lantern to safety. And when it's said and done, it's a two for one favor of Ember. Instead of taking a turret, so. Dream Team come out on top in terms of the turret trade. 19 oh. minutes in. Uh-oh. Shurnfire's in the area. He's actually coming around top. He is indeed. So too is Contracts. The knockup is going to find a couple people. Cannon Barrage does a good amount of damage. Peek and Wolf find stun. He's going to go down. Maud dodges the hook. He doesn't have 30 from Strength of Ages. He has 300. Oh, speaking of strength, he finds stun. Is he strong enough to survive? There goes the teleport. Will they be able to keep him standing? Contracts deep in the back line. Solo finds a three-man knockup. The, the bombs are tossed on top of it, along with a few barrels for flavor. Jerome is going to zone away. Stunt, but Ember are continuing to kite forward. Shurnfire oh. gets a lot of damage across. Contracts is doing some serious work here. And Lon picks up the kill with a rampage. Jerome runs away. And Ember is now turned onto the Baron. Oh, some of the members are rather low. You have to watch out for Peking Wolf. He does have some pretty chunky parlays. Still, there's an ultimate from Golden Glue. Watch out the barrels. Yeah, Hook finds Golden Glue. He's still got the Chrono Shift, drops it on himself, and he even oh. activate the passive. Beacon Look, cleanses the stun. This is a scary How many barrels situation. Does he have? How many licks will it take to get to the center? We're about to find out. Stunt goes down to Jerome. Baron is going to be so oh, barrel. Oh, he is going to be able to get it. Now Beacon Wolf has to run away. And it looks like they're going to disengage. Solo. He does have his Whoa. ultimate available. Biofrost forced to flash away from the culling of Lot. Jerome takes a stun. It's going to stall these waves. But Solo? He might be ready to ulti soon. Yeah, Solo waiting to pull the trigger. Shurnfire takes quite a bit, and he finds the teammate and Peck and 
Whoop. They go low, and they are going to go down. Double oh. kill. He brought the bomb all the way back, and now this is Ember trying to clean it up. Jerome is going to go down. Triple kill for Golden Blue. Biofrost going to try to defend this turret before backing away. And when you're up against a good zillion, it is so hard to actually do anything. You're monitoring yourself. You're watching the stunts, and he can triple bomb pretty easily. But Golden Glue throws two down, gets the stun, and then the flash afterwards because Solo had used his ultimate. They're pretty much lining up Malphite ultimates. The last two fights have been pretty good Malphite ultimates from Solo. Very important for Ember to get those points and continue moving forward. Currently six points in the standings, looking to make it nine. Right there on the barrels because he didn't connect them appropriately. Look, fine solo, not the person that they quite want as Jerome takes some more damage. Jumped down to half now. Knock up TMA. Blind TMA. He's still alive though. Peek and Wolf in the front. Solo gets pulled under the turret. And Chrono Shift will revive him. However, that's not available for the carries any longer. He flashes for a dodge, takes a stun. He's back under the turret. Double hook is going to keep him locked there. He goes down, but the answer with a kill onto Shurnfire. Jerome. Oh, he, oh man. Oh, he almost killed him. Biofrost there with that time buff. Ember set up a yeah, it's, like, it's around that. Yep, trying to catch Shurnfire and Chirong. Biofrost flashes. A lot of flashes before game. the fight. Solo gets pulled forward. Chirong is in the front where he should be. Knockup stalls it out. Solo looking for the priority target. Can he find it? As contracts are trying to kite it out, they dodge over the wall. Stunt is going deep for Massacre. There goes the double knockup at the bounce house, but there's not quite enough follow up. Contracts gets in. Hexbreaker keeps him alive. And slowly but surely, Ember are turning this lot is doing work with a double kill. And Contracts looks to turn it into an ace. It is. Ember have got the ace. It's only one member down from Ember as well in the support. So they have so much pushing power here. They have a minion wave in the mid and that's going to be 30 seconds without anybody from Dream Team up and that might be Ember looking to go 6-0 with stunt. Very confident play. This is the inhibitor going down. There's still about 20 seconds before anyone else gets up. Lot does so much damage. 7-0 and 9. He's got that double BF items. Two Nexus turrets go down. The Nexus itself follows. Ember are 6 and 0 in their past six games taking this win over Dream Team.